Hey guys, it's your girl, The Real SRT, and I am back. And today we're going to talk about these work witches on these jobs. Oh yes, y'all, when I tell you, it look like the workplace is becoming saturated with these witches, y'all. And in order for you to really grasp what I am saying about these work witches, you better know what witchcraft is. You have to know what witchcraft is, okay? This is not your TV witchcraft with somebody wearing a pointy hat and stirring a big pot. No, we talking about these liars, professional liars, manipulators, intimidators, and controllers on these jobs. That's what we're talking about. And I want you to know, that is witchcraft. And when I tell you some of these witches, they, they can win an Academy Award for that act, for their acting skills, y'all. When I tell you the pretense, just the fakery that these witches do, throw the rock and hide their hand, just, y'all, when I tell you, it's no end. It seems like it's no end to the evil that these dogs will do. And they have no high low can you go because you dealing with the lowest. These are the dogs that show up to be hell raisers on the job. These the same ones, the nitpickers, the micromanagers. The gossipers and slanderers of characters on the job. These are they, y'all. When I tell you these are they. When I tell you these are some miserable beings. Miserable. These are the ones that take that little title, that little position. When I tell you they take it to the head, they take it to the head. Ed, just do the absolute most. And most of them still had a mindset of a child still acting like they're in high school with their cliques and their flying monkeys. And that's one thing to note about these work witches. They gonna always have some flying monkeys that they use to do their dirty work. They sit around plotting and planning to do evil to people on the job. And I want you to know it don't matter if you mind your business. It don't matter if you do your job. It doesn't matter if you're respectful, kind, nice, considerate, empathetic. It does not matter. Okay? Just know. They intend on making your life a living hell on these jobs. A lot of them have such filthy mouths. They spew out whatever is in their nasty heart to say toward people or about other people. But the moment you flip it back on them, the moment you stand up for yourself, then they go run crying like they the victim. They, that's what they do. Go run and tell everything that they can when stuff don't go their way. They go always play the victim. Then if you finally get fed up with these dogs harassing you on your job, you go and try to make a report because they've already witchcraft those in authority and in the chain of command. You get met with how nice and kind they are. I'm sure they just having a rough day. So they expect you to be their emotional punching bag because they miserable as hell. And then want to come on the job and take out their anger and frustration on somebody else. And things they should probably be fired for. I mean, just fired for. They tell them, 
Now apologize like they a little child. But you will find that these evil workers, they're never ever held accountable for anything that they do. Anything that they do. They it seems like they get away with everything. They always get away with it. And you know why that is? It's because it's wickedness, spiritual wickedness in high places in that workplace. And that means that's because some of the dogs that's higher up as well are wicked, just as wicked and evil as they are. Then these old sometimes it witches. Sometimes they speak, sometimes they don't. But one thing is always consistent. They, they can't keep your name out their evil mouth. They can't keep their name, your name out their evil mouth. And they think that you don't know they be talking about you like a dog behind your back. But that's because the dog's too afraid to come and say it to your face. Just know that these are some of the biggest cowards ever. And this is why they need the little pack, the little click that they run with and they flying monkeys. But just know these work witches, they are the issue and the problem within a lot of these workplaces. This is why a lot of these workplaces have high turnover rates. This is why people are miserable on their job. These work witches, they are also behind a lot of discord and separation in the workplaces. Sometimes you will find that when the head witch in your workplace is maybe off from work that day or didn't come to work that day, you will notice that the day goes smooth on your job, that you actually have a good day at work when this person is not there. And that should be your key sign to let you know that's the work witch right now. That's one of the key signs you will notice also that that's the work witch, that it's peace and harmony and you have um, a good day at work when this person is not there. And when they do come to work, you will start to notice too that certain people that was maybe friendly or nice or helpful to you um, when the work witch was off from work, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they don't like you. You know, you'll notice behavior changes in some of the other coworkers when the work witch come to work. And it seemed like they all start to group up against you again because the work witch is still. And when I tell you, these work witches, they love to bring something for you to eat or drink at work. They love it, y'all. They always say, I was just thinking about you guys and decided to bring some snacks. And I'm here to tell you, never eat or drink anything they put their filthy hands on. Anything that they brought there for you to eat or drink. Do not eat or drink it. And I want to share this last one with you guys about these work witches. And that is they very charismatic y'all very charismatic let me tell you they have those type of personalities where everybody just likes them you know they know what to do they know what to say and i've seen them at work i'm talking about they work their way through a business or wherever it is that they are employed in from the janitors to the cooks to the 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 ones in leadership, anybody they come in contact with, they know how to manipulate and witchcraft them into making them think that they are a good person. And this is what these witches do. 
to in every place that they go. Just know that. That's what they do. That's that's how they roll. This is how they always manage to stay afloat. This is how they always are, are being tolerated in these workplaces. This is how they survive, okay, through their uh, manipulation, through wearing this mask in front of everyone, fooling everyone. They have these people under their spell. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They put these people under a spell to where these folks think that they can do no wrong. These are the type of witches I would refer to as Simon the Sorcerers because they make these people in these workplaces believe that they some great one when they really are just a dog, just a dog, point blank, period. But they have mastered the art of witchcraft, of manipulation, intimidation, and control. They have mastered it, y'all. And it's like you the only one can see through the mask. You the only one not going along with the, with the plan, see. And this is why they stage and plot and plan attacks on you. You know, this, this is what causes the nitpicking, the backbiting. The, the slandering of character, you know, this, this is why they do it. Since you can't go along with it. And they definitely don't want the cover blown. But as I've, you know, told you guys before, you have to pray before you go to work. You have to. You have to learn how to start binding up these spirits before you even get into the workplace, y'all. Because what I tell you, working in these workplaces nowadays is spiritual warfare. It is spiritual warfare, y'all. And that's what I want you to know. But just know, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, y'all. So don't be discouraged at what these dogs are doing. Keep praying. And doing what you need to do is stay focused because this is also a form of a distraction. But just know, too, I've seen some of these evil workers. I've seen them get some of them get fired and dismissed. They don't always just win. You know, they don't always just keep going unscathed. I just want you to know some of them, they end up getting just what they are um, looking for in the end. And they and they get their karma, well, what people would call karma. But we as believers, we'll just say they they end up uh weep, weeping what they sold. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.